As most of you guys know, it's CES 2024 this week, and I didn't have the opportunity to make it to the show, but my buddy Matt did, and he made a video of some of the coolest tech coming out for 2024, so Matt, take it away. I am at CES 2024 in Las Vegas, showing off a bunch of really, really cool stuff. Um, right now, I'm actually just heading home and uh, just saw some really, really cool things as far as electric scooters and bikes and a bunch of stuff that I've never actually seen before. So right now I'm riding outside on my EUC and uh, that's why I'm going so fast. But yeah, so we got some really, really good stuff for you. I'm excited to put it all together as soon as I get back to the hotel and uh, hope you enjoy. My legs are exhausted and my brain is numb. And it's all for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy. And we will do part one. And as tomorrow, we'll put together part two. So hope you enjoy. Later. Hey, so today here at CES 2024, we're at the Horwin America booth, part of Horwin Global. We've been selling electric motorcycles since 2017 in Asia and in Europe. And we're proud to announce that we're launching here in the US. Later uh, this summer, we'll be opening a brand experience center in Marina del Rey, California. And our first production model is the Cemente Zero, which is a uh, fully electric motorcycle, top speed of 125 miles per hour, zero to 60 in under uh, 2.8 seconds. It has a range on the battery of about 186 miles. And the best part, it recharges in under 30 minutes up to 80 percent of the charge we also are showing our uh, cemente x which is a production prototype that will be available in 2025 it's really a amazing feat of technology all our bikes are um, incorporated through ai so all the bikes uh, all around the world communicate with each other and then learn from each other in terms of adjusting to your individual driving journey. Our 2026 production model is going to be the Cementi 11. And this is really a fantastic piece of design. If you'll notice on the back of the uh, bike, it's got two wheels that make up the back. They will separate as you go around turns. So you virtually will not be able to topple this bike. So uh, really exciting stuff coming from Horwood America. Very much appreciate it. And uh, look for us in uh, Marina Del Rey if you're in California to visit our Brand Experience Center. And look for us online at horwin.com, H-O-R-W-I-N.com. So our Cemente Zero line here at Horwin is the, our very first production model. Again, it's going to be coming out in November of 2024. We are taking orders now on Horwin.com. This model is a fantastic uh, motorcycle. Again, 186 miles on the range and uh, 0 to 60 in under 2.8 seconds. So this is not only small, but it's mighty. That's really, really cool. Hi, my name is Mehmet and we're from Turkey. And uh, now in CS, uh, we are uh, producing and uh, representing ourselves with the US models. And uh, the uh, models we are uh, available now on the Amazon Marketplace. Tell me about these two models. This model is the name uh, California. This is the room for the battery, and he has a hub motor in the rear axle. The How the, the motor power is 750 watts and the battery capacity is, will be uh, 48 volts and 18 amper. It's going to be get uh, 50 miles range to this bike and the top speed for this model is uh, 20 miles per hour. And the same uh, specs is also for the uh, Miami model also. Same specs? Yeah, same specs. designs is a little bit different for each other. I love it. I like how you can't see the battery. It doesn't look like an electric Yeah, bike. yeah, yeah. It looked like some motorcycle, but it's actually an e-bike. Love it. Do you want to show me these guys? Yeah. 
it's actually available in Amazon. The retail uh, price is 1,000 US dollars for this model. It's uh, you can use pedals for this model, and also you can use throttles to go for the top speed. The top speed also for this model is 20 miles per hour, and the range is uh, 35 miles. Is that where the battery is stored underneath? Yeah. It's underneath the chassis. In that part is the room for the battery. And you can plug. And specs, what kind of brakes are these? Are they drum brakes? Yeah, drum brakes in the rear, uh, uh, rear and uh, also front axle. Okay. How powerful is the motor? 750? Yeah, 750 also. Okay. Cool. All right, tell me about this little guy. And it's a three cycle model. You can use these models in the hotels, uh, like uh, very big halls, like convention centers. You can use this model in the uh, airports. There is a hub motor also in the front axle. And you can go 25 miles per hour. And the, also the bat battery is underneath the chassis. Very good. All right. Hi, Matt. I'm JJ um, with Mia Global. We're uh, actually bringing in these electric scooters, 100% electric, for the first time in the U.S. Uh, they're cute. They're fun. Everybody loves them. Tell me a little bit about them. What, uh, what makes them special? You know, what's so special about it is really the battery. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. So on a full charge, it'll go about 35 miles. On a full charge, it'll get you up to about 16 miles an hour max speed. Great now, for in the city. Is that the miles per hour that you chop in half and that's your actual miles per hour? Nope. Or is that nope. real? That's 35? real. That's real. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. We really are a battery manufacturer that bought a scooter manufacturer and a golf cart manufacturer and an e-bike manufacturer to put our batteries in. So it's, it's our batteries really, truly that set it apart. So, um, no, they're a lot of fun. They're all app driven. It'll tell you where you parked it. It'll tell you what your battery's at. Um, and they're, yeah, they, they are so much fun. Battery's housed in the seat here. And these are our first ones that came over, so they're still in Chinese on the software. Our first container's coming over in about two and a half weeks, actually all English software. Um, and so, and I will say at the show yesterday being the first day, uh, we couldn't believe how many hundreds of people stopped by and just fell in love with the look of them and how much fun they are. So, yeah, we're very excited to bring these in. Cute little colors. What, uh, is this all the colors they come in? No, this is our main five colors, but as you know, being in Utah yourself, we've got some red and some blue ones coming um, to Utah as well. So, yes, yes. Well, we can do other colors. We're big on colleges, college campuses. Um, young adults love these things on college campuses, so we're going to do a lot of different colors for different campuses as well. Hi, my name is Alejandro and I'm here with Fast. The company is originally from Vietnam and they are expanding here in the U.S. market. This bike you see here is called the Dragonfly. Uh, it's an e-bike with a max speed, of, max speed of 20 miles an hour. It's a class 2 bike. Uh, obviously that max speed is throttle only, which you can find right here. Uh, now, this is one of the prototypes we had last year, and it was the most popular by far, so it's the one that Beamfast decided to develop. Um, the battery you can find right below here, and once you unlock it, it swings out, and it's detachable for charging. Uh, you have 20 inch, 20 inch by four inch wheels, and a 750 watt battery right here. So it will have over the air connectivity and updates, and a little infotainment system here that will show you your speed as well as it has different modalities that you can choose for the bike. Um, it takes between 300, 320 minutes to fully charge the battery. And yeah, 
It's going to be in the market first quarter of this year in the U.S. and it retails at about $2,800. I'm Nick Stickler, I'm with Brunswick Corporation, and I'm working on a, uh, a newly acquired business that we had, an exciting business on eFoils. Yeah, so we, we, we acquired this company and got interested in eFoils um, because it's a great way to experience the water in a uh, different different manner. It's, it's all electric, it's uh, completely wakeless, uh, and it is, it is very exciting. Now, you do have to learn how to do it, but that's, uh, we've solved that piece of it as well. We have hundreds of flight schools where you can get a lesson, and within 45 minutes, you can get pretty much anybody up and running on one of these, and then you're off enjoying it on your own uh, and feeling confident in, in what you do. So, again, it's it's just a, it's a new way to experience the water. First ex came into existence in 2018, so a very new product in a new market, and that's why we invested in a Brunswick Corporation, the largest recreational marine company in the world. So, so there's three different battery options, and if you get the largest battery, it can go for a good two hours, and your legs are going to give out probably <laughs> before the battery does. So this is this is the battery box, uh, just the, you know, the two leads for that. So it's pretty simple. All the electronics are actually embedded up here in the mast, and they do that purposely because this can act as a heat sink, uh, to, and you don't need any active cooling at that point. And then you have your motor, your gearbox, and your prop all contained, you know, contained in this nice uh, tight package there. That's very, uh, um, you know, very slim. All right, so we got the live wire production vehicle. This is fifteen thousand five hundred. It's a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. He told me all the stats and all the specs. I don't remember them already. Forgot them. No matter how the times may change, the Mitsubishi Electric Group continues to work tirelessly to bring during smiles to people. It is governed at 108 miles per hour top speed. 108? 100 and what? 108. Yeah, 108. There you go. can go farther than your car. Here we've got Honda's briefcase style scooter. Look at that guy. That is really cool. Start off with your name and who you're with. Uh, hello, I am Francisco Fu. Um, I am the sales manager for Mexico for uh, Yadia, which is the biggest electric motorcycle uh, producer and seller in China, which also makes us the uh, bigger in the world. So uh, we're going to present some of our small guys here. So this one is the uh, Easy Go. <coughs> it's a uh, quite uh, new product. It's it's uh, ready to. The ship since uh, December and uh, January this, this year. It is uh, co designed uh, with uh, Porsche, with uh, Kiska Design Studio with, uh, by uh, Porsche. 
Uh, it comes with several configurations. So the, uh, the lithium version has an 80 kilometer uh, as a top speed and uh, 90 kilometers as, as a range. It comes with a 3000 watt motor and uh, the battery is uh, 72 volts and uh, 27 uh, amperes. This one uh, is the Orla. It was uh, de uh, designed especially for the Vietnam market. Vietnam up to China is our, our biggest market. So uh, we took a, a, another product as a, as a benchmark. This will be actually the uh, lowest AOI product that we have today. And, uh, it uh, comes with a, a 1200 watt, uh, watts motor and uh, uh, 60 volt volts and uh, as a 26 amperes uh, battery. It's a graphene battery. Actually, we were the, the, the pioneers in the industry to uh, uh, have lead acid batteries locked uh, with uh, graphene layers. And uh, yeah, so this is this is it. And uh, this one is the Volgar. It's, it's also one of our top line products. Um, and the uh, lithium battery version comes with a 3000 watt motor and uh, it has a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and a range of Are they sold in the U.S.? Uh, we hope so. Yeah, we hope so. I mean, we uh, have some distributors already in the U.S. Uh, but, you know, we keep changing, we, we keep uh, updating our product lines. So uh, we will have to certificate them, to certify them with a DOT a certificate. But the idea is uh, to uh, bring some of them to, uh, to the U.S. Okay. And what are the U.S. prices? At least at this moment, we don't have the retail prices. I okay. could only give the price in, in the Chinese port. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, this one, uh, this one in the U.S. would be something around five thousand okay. dollars. But it depends on the margin, right? And mm -hmm. the wants to wants to put it. Uh, this one, uh, which is a graphene battery, perhaps we are not going to bring it to, to the U.S. because uh, it's not. Uh, Fast enough, but uh, the, the price in the U.S. would be around fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, and uh, that one, the uh, lithium battery, uh, it should be around four thousand uh, dollars. The price in the U.S. Uh, if you go Orla and Volta. Great. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Look like at this, this guy. Hard I think work. Here soon. Andrew, you're a master. <laughs> you're a master. Look at that. I'm a master. No. Guy at work. I'm not a master. <laughs> I don't know anything. Hello guys, my name is Jerry uh, from Yadea's uh, technology group. So my position is uh, I'm responsible for the uh, uh, e-bike and a scooter for the whole North American sales. Nice. So show me what so, we got here. So we've got uh, the first the first model we would like to introduce is the Innovator. So this folding bike pounds it's 53 pounds with less than one cubic meter after it's full. It's got a magnesium magnesium alloy frame. Offers a lighter. Is this stronger. the same bike as the one that's folded? Yes, the both bikes are, okay. are, are the same. So this one, it's got a 10 amp power battery. Offers a range of 25 to 30 miles per charge. Last one, mid-drive motor, 350 watts from Yadia Manufacturing. Hydraulic brake, leather seat, and foldable pedals. Foldable pedals. Very nice. Saving maximum space. Okay. LED highlights with the red too. We step to this way. This series are the Troopers. We do have the pink color. Trooper 01S with dual motor, also the tent and the black. Okay. Which ones are available in the U.S. right now? These two are, are available in the U.S. right now. You can buy them from dealership, from online, and you can also search for the information on YouTube. So let's introduce this bike to the public. This bike, flagship, flagship bike that we have, we have right now. With 20 amp hour battery, 2100 LG battery, 
Uh, IOG self. Offer you a range of 45 with throttle only. 45 miles with throttle only. 60 miles. 60 to 60, 65 miles with pedal assist. We've got three levels of pedal assist. Eco, mid, and high. Hydraulic brakes. Textual hydraulic brakes offer you a higher performance of braking. If we turn it on, it has three levels of power assist. One, two, three. Let's start over here. We've got lights. It's fully LED lights. And also you can get the uh, uh, pass by flash function. I also got a horn too. This bike is a dual suspension bike. So we've got bikes over here. We've got a, a suspension over here as a front. Uh, sorry, rear. And we've got front reverse shock. Not many bikes using the reverse shock. Yes. We've got a protector too. Also, the whole bike is a UL certified. Uh, is, that on the nine. is that on the battery certification or the bike? The whole bike. Whole bike, including the battery. Bike and also 4.05 tire, <laughs> 750 hub motor. Pretty much, that's our bike. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Oh, sorry. Yeah, hogging like your shot. Yeah, hogging everyone's shot. Your shot. That's, you gotta like that shot. <laughs> Awesome. And what do we have right here? Uh, this is our Ori flagship uh, model. So it's, uh, if you want to uh, know more about the, the specs, it's 100 kilometers uh, in range and 100 kilometers in our top speed. What is that in US? Uh, so about 60. 60? Yeah. And what, uh, sorry, what were the specs one more time? So there, it's 100 kilometers an hour top speed and 100 kilometers. Okay. Tell me about the shocks, the suspension. Yeah, so the, the suspensions are uh, uh, preloaded. Um, so you, you have, uh, you, know, you can adjust the preload and you can adjust the uh, uh, the, dur the the hard hardness of the suspensions. Awesome. There's Andrew. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> so, what about the display and the assistance and everything like that? Uh, so, the display you have on the left side, you have uh, uh, you know your control panel. Here, you have uh, the toggle for the uh, speeds. Uh, number gear number one goes up to 35 kilometers an hour. Gear number two goes up to 65, and then gear three goes up to 100. This this uh, mode setting uh, changes the type of traction that you're working with. Uh, each one is associated with. Like for example, like mud, snow, rocks, dirt, stuff like that. And then you have a dynamic button which changes the acceleration. Yeah. And we got a twist throttle. Yeah. And just twist a bit more throttle. about the uh, dynamic range. You can sure. just focus your camera here. Okay. Um, you can show uh, that it has three and an additional one. So this, you just have to press it a bit. Um, so if it's, it's, this is the customized one. It starts at um, cheap, which is the slowest uh, or the least quick acceleration, and it kicks up to 
wolf? Uh, no, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog? Alright. Then it kicks off to Jaguar. Okay. 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 Sweet. Sweet. And is this available in the U.S.? So currently we're, uh, we have stock in the U.S., but we're looking for distributors. Um, awesome. That's it right now. Yeah. Very good. It is selling in, in Europe. That's it right now. And how much in Europe are they going for? Uh, they're going for about 5,500 uh, euros retail. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. around on some of these things because you got a lot to cover here. So I was walking around and suddenly this strange, strange human strange. being. Very strange. Came. Very strange. And Andrew from Fresh, Freshly Charged. <laughs> Freshly Charged. Totally forgot the name. Fresh. Two seconds. I've been hanging Either out with him all day. Well, we've been hanging out with each other for a few years. This is my good friend, Matt. And um, yeah, so I told him he needs to check out the Segway booth. Some cool things here at the Segway booth is these brand new e-bikes. And so, they're semi-cool, okay? Not super cool. They're cool looking, but they're both class two e-bikes, which is kind of astonishing. They only go up to 20 miles per hour. Do not go up to 28 miles per hour. But when you look at them, you would assume they should go faster. That's so right. so what I'm gonna do, I asked him to be the narrator, I asked him to be the narrator here, uh, and so I'm gonna switch cameras really quick, and then switch it. All yeah, right. we're gonna do bike, which is kind of like a Super 73, got the big fat tire. It's bigger than the Super 73 tires. It's got this interesting light. The way you turn this thing on is one of the weirdest ways I've ever seen, too. Oh, actually, it's this one. I'll, I'll turn on this one. This one doesn't turn on from yesterday. Looks kind of like the X260 Surons, so it's a blend between a Super 73 and a Suron. As you can see, the battery in the center, big fat oversized tires, but looks really mean. Full suspension, but only goes 20 miles per hour. And the other thing it is, is it has this GT2 blend on here where it's got these handlebars, half twist throttle, these little knobs and bumpers where you hit the buttons. Looks just like the GT1 and GT2 electric scooters. This is their other full suspension mountain bike. This thing is very weird too. The power button on here is very unique. You have to press in and out. So instead of just pressing a button, you actually have to press down. Here, I'll show you. You gotta press down and twist to turn it on and off. I don't know who thought of that, but it's a very poor design. <laughs> but we'll look at this thing. The seat thing, I've never seen this seat post. This drops like this. So that is pretty new. I've seen a lot of bike seats, but I've never seen a bike seat that shuts up and down like that. Yeah. Let's see, watch, we'll do it. Swick action. Whoa. I, I think they're super cool. Like July. Rock built in, full suspension as well, adjustable rear suspension. Supposedly they think it's a torque sensor. They're not 100% sure with the hub motor, but Another thing, that only goes 20 miles per hour, so I would have wished that this goes a little bit faster. Okay. It's a cool looking bike, okay. so, looks similar to the yeah, scooter as well, where it has these controls, but it doesn't really have a throttle, a half twist throttle, it has a little thumb throttle. So very interesting. Um, I like the looks of them, but I wish they went a little bit faster. We integrate the Apple Apple Find My this is the first one. Second one uh, we also have the uh, integrated auto sensor inside so the bike uh, understand your, your, your the riders. They know you are on uphill and downhill. Okay. So uh, well we automatically adjust the system power point. Okay, so yeah. that's science. And the second uh, third one I think we also build the uh, GPS location. Yeah. You can track you, you can through the app you know the where you go back to. Oh, yeah. And also and you I do like your guys' app. Yeah. But one thing is, is why does it only go 20 miles per hour? Both of these. That is class two. That's what? It has to be, well, it can be a class three. Uh, There's plenty of class three bikes. Yeah, because class three is not, uh, not it's a, uh, class two is more uh, popular in the motorcycle. Yeah, cities. well, and legally, you have legally, a yes, yeah. all throttles can only technically go up to 20 miles per hour, yeah. but I think at least with pedaling on both of these bikes, I should be able to go up to 20 miles per hour. Yeah. They look like they have plenty of power, they look beefy and powerful, but I'm just kind of dumbfounded. Yeah. Uh, this is regulation. Yeah, it is right. Segway, Segway is all about regulation, but they have their electric scooter that goes 43 and a half miles per hour, so I'm not sure. That doesn't really make any sense, but yes, 
tune in next tune in on the next episode of Electric Revolution and CES. Yep. This is the Go Kart Pro 2. Uh, we actually reviewed the version one of this and it was super crazy fun. So fun. So here's the second version. The Go Kart Pro 2. I just wanted to get a shot of this. Yeah, you're all good now. Yeah, you do want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who are you with? Hi, I'm Selena from Marketing Team, New Headquarters in Segway Nightboat. Awesome. And what's new in 2024? Okay, so we have released four models, uh, three of them from the micro mobility. So one of them, the most amazing one is the ST. ST is our super kick shooters. It has a range of over 16 kilometers. Is it this one? Uh, this one. This one and have double suspension and the dual brakes, the disc brakes. They have the, the indicators for the both. Uh, and you can see that we have a new display, which is quite different than the rest of those. Okay, have a high clearance here. And even we can fold it, we can fold it in your car tank. Great. Uh, what else is due in 2024? Okay, what else? Uh, let me introduce our best seller in the Segway Nightboat. It has a sport uh, Max G2. It's a, his previous version is Max G30. It's well known by the all over the world. So now we have the double suspension, the front and the and the rear. And it has 10 inch ceiling tires. And that's what's new from the previous model? Yeah, yes, quite new is the uh, adaptive with the uh, Apple Find My. And uh, you can trace and uh, track the location of your kick servers. So, and also you can check on your web what's the range and what's the rest of the battery it is. Okay. And the most important is we just uh, upgraded the software, which we called the MoDrive. MoDrive is applied in the e-mode. So I e we call the e-scooters. So that one we have a uh, uh, we have a very good feature is uh, heel hold control. That means when you go to the San Francisco, the hilly city, so you can stand still and the boat not slide away. Cool. You got the whole lineup here, don't you? Top to bottom. 
So this is similar to what I saw over there. It's just got the off-road tires on. Yeah. They're the exact same. Exact same. Yep. Just different colors. Fantastic. Yeah, that's cool. What are they running for these days? Um, we're not yet in the market. Uh, they're okay. coming very soon um, online and then trying to get these into Costco. Uh, we have, uh, a couple of our products are already in Costco, like this one, two over there. Okay. Little kid's bike, that's adorable. Yeah. So apparently Reebok is um, in the e-bike business, which is surprising. They say this is the first time that they've got into this area. They've licensed with Reebok and to be able to carry their brand name. Uh, this is one of their more exciting bikes, uh, full suspension. I couldn't get anybody to uh, share with me details, but uh, but here it is. They also have a bunch of different bikes in their lineup as well. Looks like a good array of different different types. Got some road bikes. Got some off-road bikes. Looks like some of them are mid-drive, others are hub motor. So, very good. Fun little bikes here. Yeah, definitely. Double seater. So there you have it, 40 minutes of lovely CES footage, and uh, I, for one, am ready for a bath to soak these sore muscles because these legs are sore. Anyway, uh, tomorrow brings a whole nother day with a whole nother slew of, of vendors that we get to go see and new products that we get to explore. So make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see uh, what's coming up tomorrow so that way you don't miss out. And we'll see you tomorrow.